Hey, this is a tip on how to convert an M4B file into several MP3 files. These will be split at the points of the chapters in the M4B file. So an M4B file contains AAC audio and it contains chapter points so you can skip ahead to various parts of the file. And unfortunately M4B isn't that compatible with a lot of devices so this is kind of an easy workaround. So I'm going to be using um, free software called Fubar 2000. It doesn't require installation, although it does download and install. There's an option to choose portable, so it doesn't actually stick files all over your computer. And in order to convert the files to MP3, we just need to install the lame codec. Again, this doesn't actually install anywhere. It's just a folder we can copy somewhere. And if you want, you can just delete the whole lot when, when you're done. So I'll put these links in the video description. You can download Fubar there. That's this installer there, or rather, not installer, you'll see in a minute. Um, and then Rarewares, we've got on this Rarewares page, we've got two options, a 32-bit or a 64-bit. Um, if you've got a new computer, it's bound to be 64-bit, but if you're not sure, just get the 32-bit because that should work either way. So once, And that's this file here, I've just gone for the 64-bit. So once you've downloaded those, we can start with Fubar. So what we need to do is just click next I agree and portable installation so it's not going to be putting files in the system folder or anything so we'll say next and the default is the desktop so I'll just say next and install so that's done we don't want to run it just yet um, and now um, you don't have to do this stage if you don't want to convert to mp3 you can convert to another format just be aware that AAC is already compressed so there's not much point in going for a higher quality format because the files already compressed so anyway let's extract this file um, if you don't have 7-zip or anything similar installed you can just say extract files when you right click on them that's built into windows so i have lame there and foobar there so let's open the foobar folder oops <laughs> so what i'm going to do is basically just move this lame folder inside the foobar folder because in a moment we're going to be sort of referencing that when we run foobar so double click to run foobar just click OK to choose like the default appearance that's fine for now we can always worry about that later so I can close that window for now so here's my audio book as you can see it's a single file it's M4B if I drag it into Fubar's window you can see it's now expanded into all the chapters of the book um, what we want to do first is just right click any one of these tabs up here and go to columns and we just want to enable bitrate so we can see the quality of the file because we're going to be converting this from AAC to MP3 there's no point converting it into a really high quality format if it's only like most audiobooks pretty low so now they're the files if we just right select all of those right click and we go to convert click these little three dots here and then we want to change the output format obviously if you want to do it as wave you can do that there but I'll just convert this and pick mp3 and we want to go to edit because we're going to lower the quality because we've just seen that it's 63 kilobits per second so we're going to change that I'm going to go down see although that's 63 AAC is slightly higher compression and also we're going to be um, compressing an already compressed file so we want to go a little bit higher than the actual quality so that should be fine at 85 okay that and we go back to go back to the menu we were. Now we just pick the destination. I'm going to specify a folder just by clicking these dots here, and we'll just put it on the desktop in that output MP3 folder. It's just an empty folder I've already created. So we can now. Oh, and also we want to just add in the track number. Um, so if we just type percentage, put track, put percentage. Uh, where is it? <laughs> and I'm just going to do a little dash. And you should see down here it's previewing how the file will be named. And we need to add that so that it adds the um, number of the chapter. Otherwise, it's all going to be a bit confusing. So we can just say back because we're done. We've set that. And now we just need to click convert. And it's, it's, it's warning us that it's going to go from one lossy format to another. But we already knew that. That's why we went slightly higher quality to reduce the you know, reduction in quality. So we say yes and it wants to know um, it wants to know where lame is now so lame is that additional component we added to um, foobar so we go back on the desktop we go into foobar's folder this is the lame folder we copied in there and we just pick lame say open and away it goes and uh, that's pretty much it really um, once it's done we'll have a nice folder full of separated mp3 files and then you can play them wherever you want 
Hopefully this video was useful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. Or if you'd like to subscribe to see more of this sort of thing, please do that. Thanks for watching.